if successful, the vision implant could help treat blindness and pave the way for future innovations in neurotechnology. It raises questions on like what's next after this. Which is where the suspicion lies, right? Is will these be will these things be used to weaponize or go against humanity? Which um, it raises questions on like what's next after this? Like would they yeah. would, would they turn people into like robocop with like enhanced vision on the battlefield transhumanism Elon Musk made a big announcement i think it was last week about new yeah, technology this article is from Yahoo Tech and it's from the 21st yeah. of June. Okay. So yeah. yeah, he announced that Neuralink, well, you know, that thing that everybody's been uh, going crazy over. Haters are saying like, hey, that's going to be, it's the, the mark of the beast or <laughs> that, nobody that's wants to chip in their head or hand right. or anywhere. <laughs> but then there's obviously the practical implications of this that will help a lot of people who yeah. actually have neurological disorders or diseases and and require that so it's you know it's a bit of i think it has to do with eyesight if i'm not mistaken like people yeah. who can't see properly but um yeah would, would they turn people into like robocop with like enhanced vision on the battlefield transhumanism or yeah i mean i think that is the natural step but before that let, let's just cover the um, yeah. yeah, so he announced that Neuralink will begin human trials for its first vision implants, as you mentioned, it's uh, within the next year, marking a major step forward in brain computer interface technology. So this is all like using the eyes and, and um, kind of like Google Glass without Google Glass, it's mm. with your eyes. This project aims to restore and enhance sight by directly linking a neural implant to visual processing. The announcement signals a shift toward real world medical applications of Neuralink's tech <clears throat> following earlier FDA approved trials for paralysis related implants. If successful, the vision implant could help treat blindness and pave the way for future innovations in neurotechnology. Mm -hmm. So these um, uh, hu human vision implants are Neuralink's next phase, phase sorry, uh, as Elon Musk has announced. Um, and yes, the next thing uh, will be an overhaul of Grok AI, if for those not in the know or who aren't on X, previously known as Twitter, uh, their AI um, uh, app is called Grok. And they just, I think, released, uh, we were yeah. just informed, the 2.0 version. But this it's is within Grok. X, isn't it? So whoever yeah. has X, they can use it. Do you need a premium account, if I'm not mistaken? I think you can still use it, but you're very limited. But yeah, premium account enables you to use it fully. Like but, extra features. Yeah. So Grok 3.5 is incoming. So Musk emphasized plans to retrain his XAI model. Grok citing a need to remove far too much garbage from its data set. Musk hinted that Grok 3.5 will provide clearer, more original answers and is working toward rewriting the entire corpus of human knowledge. So kind of what Wikipedia has tried to do. Um, yeah. The bottom line, Elon Musk's dual focus, advancing Neuralink's vision implants and enhancing Grok's AI capabilities via data retraining signals a bold push into next generation BCI and AI. The implications are profound and yeah, uh, these developments could shape the future of human machine integration, which is what you were just saying. And it looks like, you know, regardless of what yeah. people say, and there are a lot of people who are against it, but this, there's always been this thing, which is since the seventies, the transhumanist movement and, uh, with also the genre of cyberpunk and, you know, the popularity of all these things, yeah. we're seeing more convergence more and more. And now with the rise of AI, it does look like we will see a lot more convergence with tech and the, you know, the bio-organic, mm -hmm. um, element of hum humans. Yes. And, uh, there will be those who will reject it, I assume, uh, but there will be those who will embrace it because they can assist. Exactly. The, the obvious issue will always be, and that always comes into play that, you know, which is where the suspicion lies, right? Is 
will these be will these things be used to weaponize or go against humanity which inevitably there are always applications for that in the military they're already yeah. looking as well you know so and that's yeah. one thing you have to take into account but yeah. then again it could uh, for example ai and this technology with like prosthetics or enhancements i mean yeah. it could also assist people with let's say disabilities who let's say can't use their legs or don't have legs or limbs or allow them to move or it, like all of this is a tool and depending on how you use it um will determine the outcome right exactly so i'm a proponent for it but again i i think with all tech it obviously yeah. gets in the hands of the unsavory and so they're already meddling with it i mean they're, they're i mean we already see how they're trying to apply ai you know within the military and to weaponize yeah. it so absolutely it's 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 a no-brainer that they're going to do this with with this technology but it's it that's the case of any technology unfortunately that's always going to be the case so and uh <clears throat> mentioned the war industry is dismantled completely that's yeah yeah sorry we're also working on a video of, of um on palantir yeah it has to do with ai and um and it's all the kind of warfare thing and connections population control type stuff <laughs> yeah 